Today's horoscope from Astro Academy, Capricorn March 13, 2023. There can be a tendency today to focus on what's not working rather than what is, with a Mercury-Pluto minor but stressful aspect influencing the day. This is just fine up to a certain point, but taken too far, it becomes counterproductive. Fortunately, the need for good company and interesting experiences can motivate you into action today and tomorrow. There could be opportunities to interact with special people through long-distance communications, cultural interests, higher education, acquaintances, or groups, or you can find pleasure and inspiration through these avenues. You express your feelings straightforwardly now, and this forthcoming approach truly works in your favor. Conversations with friends can be inspiring and stimulating, and creative ideas can emerge. Some gently motivating competition can rev you up. You are one of the most passionate and romantic zodiac signs of all. Today and tomorrow's sparkling energy will bring you even more opportunities for enjoyment and living in the moment. As sweet Venus, our goddess planet of love and beauty, spins perfectly in a sextal with mighty Mars, the god of sex and drive in your solar house, you'll notice a profound effect upon your personal life. You'll be using radiance, charisma, and magnetism, easily amplifying your level of popularity and the lure. Let yourself feel stimulated and aroused by the universe as you enjoy the flirty, festive vibe. It's time to celebrate. Keep to yourself today, Leo. Usually, you have no problem being extroverted at work since you enjoy being around other people and receiving attention. However, you may feel a little off today as the moon enters its fall, Scorpio. The lunar energy is encouraging you to take a step back and to be more introverted than usual. So, you may not be as talkative with your co-workers. Although this is a little different from your usual pace at work, it might be a nice change of pace since you may be more productive. While a full moon in your income sector may have stirred things up on both sides of the financial fence and its clash with the sun in your financial sector may have created some financial tension, this is something that you are already benefiting from. At a pivotal point in this professional year this has left you with a better sense of where the money is while in Saturn's early days in your financial sector, this has given you the resolve to take your financial power back. A hot under the collar feeling might plague you today. Working out your own health regimen is very challenging. There is an initial phase of voices inside the head saying things like, feed me ice cream or I will hate you, and I'm too tired to exercise. With practice you will learn to calm them down with, you will feel better and it won't take that long, and I'd rather you eat this fruit salad with fresh raspberry sauce. Yum. This is an excellent day for you to give something another shot. When things don't turn out the way you had hoped, or when you mess up, it can seem easier to just forget the whole idea. Yet, if it is something that is really important to you, you owe it to yourself to try again. And again and again, if need be. This day can help you to find the courage you need. Give it another shot. It is just as Mars moves into his final two weeks in your friendship sector that a friendly aspect to the moon in its final hours in your communication sector will make it even easier to connect. However, this is not just the moon's last visit before Mars leaves your friendship sector but before the dwarf planet Ceres leaves your communication sector and after Saturn left your relationship sector earlier in the week, but with both working to hold on to a sense of connection. This is a day where communication and human connections are a priority. Three days after Saturn left your relationship sector and with Pluto still 13 days away, the moon's departure from your communication sector wraps up a valuable chance to get the communication lines open. This is something that will continue after the moon leaves while Venus, the planet of love is working to make her final days in an adventurous part of your chart count. Our eyes in the sky. The alignment of Venus in Aries and Mars in Gemini is in sync this morning, and it is a powerful cosmic moment that holds great significance. You may experience a surge of emotions, so pay attention to these feelings, as they could serve as valuable signs pointing towards a new path or a new beginning in your life. 
This alignment signifies a constant and tender interplay between the energies of Venus and Mars, which should be embraced with a loving perspective. While it may highlight some challenges that you still need to overcome, it also provides you with the opportunity to tap into your creative genius and utilize it as your muse. Therefore, it is essential to remain open and receptive to the possibilities that may arise during this time. Allow your intuition to guide you and trust that the universe has a plan for you. By embracing the harmony between Venus and Mars, you can unlock your full potential and unleash your creativity to manifest the life you truly desire. As the sun rises, the planetary alignment of Venus in Aries and Mars in Gemini creates a dynamic sextile, igniting a captivating and alluring energy within us. This alignment allows us to exude confidence, not only in our actions but also in our words, making us irresistible to others. Our charm and seductive qualities are heightened, drawing others towards us. During this transit, we don't overwhelm others with our attention, but instead, we express our admiration for them, making it clear that they are the object of our desire. This approach is flattering and endearing, leaving others feeling seen and appreciated. The courageous energy that this alignment provides can also fuel our pursuit of creative or athletic goals. We feel confident and capable of achieving our aspirations, making this an excellent time to take risks and pursue our passions. Overall, this alignment offers us the opportunity to embrace our sensuality, confidence, and courage. By doing so, we can attract positive and enriching experiences into our lives and achieve the goals that truly matter to us. As Juno, the asteroid associated with loyalty and commitment, moves into the steady and grounded sign of Taurus, we are invited into a landscape of intentional agreements and the establishment of sturdy, supportive roots. This transition is a natural fit for Juno, as Taurus represents a space where we can build lasting and meaningful connections. However, there is a potential pitfall to this transit, which lies in the tendency towards laziness. We may find ourselves sticking to relationship or business agreements, not because we are truly invested, but because it feels easier to maintain the status quo than to confront complications or make changes. This reticence to change or confront issues can become an underlying theme during this period. To avoid this pitfall, it is crucial to remain mindful of the true benefits of the agreements we make while Juno remains in Taurus until May 1st. We should resist the temptation to allow convenience to overshadow the value of these commitments, ensuring that we approach them with intention and purpose. By doing so, we can build strong, supportive foundations in our relationships and businesses that will serve us well in the long term.